Yo, what is up guys, it's Jack and welcome back to another video. So, we're just uh, beyond three weeks now since the release of this game. Three weeks and one day according to my count. And uh, quite frankly, there's been this kind of question that's been itching to be asked. Uh, it's been staring at me, or should I say, r at us right in the face since... Uh, since pretty much the release of this game and we've seen all sorts of different things done to the game there's been multiple updates all sorts of bugs and glitches uh cheaters and all that kind of stuff that i found i found three different kinds of cheaters and playing in this game already and stuff like that so it begs the question i'm gonna be as civilized and respectful as possible because at the same time i'm not a developer at the same time i don't know what the fuck is going on with the politics and, and all the stuff in between when it comes to making a game um but at the same time i, I i'm a very well aware that there are viewers of mine that are more educated on the subject than I am and some of you may even be in the field to a certain extent so for those of you that are that happen to watch as well uh, just pretty much anybody I mean you guys are always welcome to voice your opinions and tell me the facts as well and what you believe uh, but especially for those of you guys that are in the field to a certain extent you guys can always feel free to educate me because it's you know it's, there's no reason why I can't be educated on the subject but do you guys feel that Black Ops 4 is unfinished? Do you guys feel that the game is unfinished? And why is it unfinished? Now, I'm not going to... I don't like to, like, point fingers. But let's let's take a step back through... Uh, let's, uh, let's go back in time through memory lane and basically see that in Black Ops 3, back in Black Ops 3 when it got released in 2015... Uh, <clears throat> the game was a hell of a lot more polished and, and, and finished than this game was. I mean, isn't that correct? Uh, there certainly weren't, uh, from what I can remember, there were very, compared to this year's release, it's pretty much like night and day in terms of the glitches and consistencies, uh, the, the, the different kinds of cheaters that we found already on the in the game and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's it's pretty much like night and day compared to this year, and they uh, they pretty much had the same amount of time to develop the game as they did previously, so what changed so my, my my thoughts go immediately to blackout i personally a part of me thinks that blackout is a partial reason at least at the very least a partial reason for the multiplayer suffering inconsistencies now don't get me wrong blackout itself is also suffering from inconsistencies as well so it might not even be that but I'm just trying to put everything together and put the pieces together and tell you guys what I think. And in the comment section, you guys can let me know what you think and what you guys believe. Um, there's also the fact that, remember before the game's release that they were talking about how Treyarch was trying to do something so different that they got backlash, you know, where the game was going to be a lot like Overwatch and all that kind of stuff. Uh, did they really go so far away from, from home? that they had to backtrack into and 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 the game just ended up suffering because of that i mean was it really that different was the was it really going to be like overwatch and all that kind of stuff i mean there's so many there there's that as well and uh, that could be true as well Let, let's not let's not forget that 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 is something that could very very possibly be true um and my mind goes there all the time uh that and blackout but at the same time again like i said blackout has its own issues and because for whatever reason they had to backtrack i also think that there's a lot and a lot of cut and paste going on now why do i think there's a lot of cut and paste well because the kind of cheats or hacks that we've seen people use already okay i've i've seen three different kinds already uh, i've seen the one where the person uh, i saw it on it was during my last stream there was one dude that was running faster than the flash like running so fast there was literally nothing you could do and apparently they can switch this thing off and on at will so if, if all of a sudden they uh, they find themselves getting their asses kicked online all of a sudden they turn that shit on and they manage to you know catch back up and and try to win uh, or do win and all that kind of stuff this is really really aggravating especially when you when you run into these type of people you know it's like they're moving so fast it's ridiculous you can't can't really do anything you can you probably get lucky and kill them a few times but it's it's unlikely let's put it that way there's the one where it's similar to Black Ops 3 to where they have more than what Pick 10 allows in terms of uh, every single perk, every single attachment, gear, equipment, you name it. They're fully, fully decked out and uh, unlimited in terms of what they can they can put on as much as, as much as the game allows them to at least. So they can use every single weapon, every single attachment, all that kind of stuff. Basically similar to how it was in Black Ops 3. 
And then there's there's one hack that actually kind of reminds me of Black Ops 2, actually. Uh, I saw this in Thunder's video way back when during the Black Ops 2 life cycle. You guys remember that Remington shotgun hack to where the, the gun would fire so freaking rapidly it would put submachine guns to shame? We have something like that with the uh, with one of the shotguns here. You know, the, the one that's like the breachy. I, I keep on forgetting the the name of the damn shotgun because again I don't use shotguns and shotguns are so annoying so I just I just keep on calling it the breachy because that's that's what it is basically it's like the breachy or the brecky or whatever you want to call it from Black Ops 3 well apparently this gun uh, can with this hack can fire fully automatic and ridiculously fast and uh, yeah it could put sub submachine guns to 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 shame when it comes to the rate of fire that this thing can dish out so I've seen that as well and for both of those um, I've they had for two of those hacks they've happened on stream go figure so it's it's fairly common and it's only been three three and a half weeks or whatnot so that makes me think with with the hacks and everything like that that's going on it's like and these hacks are familiar as well you know one of them is like from black ops 3 another one is from black ops 2 so it's like how much cut and paste did they do in order for them to at least provide us this game because it seems that either blackout took too much of their time and they had to backtrack and you know do some cutting and pasting to make the release date or um, they went so far off base with their original concept that they were gonna make this game like Fortnite or I'm sorry not Fortnite uh, but like Overwatch but uh, they <laughs> they had to backtrack and and basically again for that reason do cut and paste or do you think it's just for both reasons do you think both reasons are accountable do you think it's possible because of both I don't know um, so I wanted to make this video to kind of just let out my thoughts and I want you guys to tell me what your thoughts are because quite frankly uh, a lot of people have been whispering or, or saying you know comments like this why why the fuck is is are they getting away with a game not being released uh, or, or releasing a game like this and it's and it's unreleased I mean shit do we really have to every year uh, a, a new Call of Duty comes out do we really have to wait every six months um, for the game to play and feel like it should it's like what the fuck you know and you keep on hearing what the fuck Treyarchs what the fuck Activision all that kind of stuff so I wanted to know what your guys opinion is and what your point of view is on this and, and what you believe and um, and yeah I mean for some and, and one thing you guys can say anything you want about Infinity Ward but there's one thing I do want to say and that is that um, uh, I'm not taking sides or anything like that but is it me or, or do Infinity Ward games uh, release a hell of a lot smoother? You can say what you want in your opinions about Ghosts or Infinite Warfare, for instance, but last I checked, unless I've got a bad memory, those games actually had a pretty smooth release in terms of how they played, how they felt, and all that kind of stuff. Like, seriously. Like, Inf Infinity Ward, in terms of a gameplay, uh, they may not be the most innovative, but uh, at the same time, they're pretty consistent in terms of how the game feels like with the hit detection and then the connection and the consistency in terms of consistency I think Infinity Ward is number one right now um, so anyway let me know down in the comment section what you guys think that's all I got for this one I am out of time out of gameplay for this one and as always if you enjoyed the video let me know and if you didn't let me know what I could do to make my videos better and I'll catch you guys on the next one